So when I entered, I first did in 2013 under a different name. And unfortunately, it was after I stopped breastfeeding. So now I had like the flat tires. <laughs> and so I just wasn't happy with what I was seeing coming out mm -hmm. after things started getting published, you know, about six months later. So I exited. And then once my children got older and I got a new man who I'm now with for seven years, I had a lot more support at home mm -hmm. and a lot more drive and dedication towards wanting to be what I'd always wanted to be, which is a model. I mm -hmm. remember being eight years old and not even having any teeth and going to all these different modeling competitions, wanting to be signed to be a model. And I got voice acting offers, but nobody wanted to sign me because they kept telling me, you need to wait till your teeth grow back. Mm. So how, wait, how many teeth were you missing? I mean, I, for whatever reason, lost like all four of them at the same time. <laughs> so I had a little nubbin. Uh, it was it was pretty embarrassing, but I still wanted to do it. It's what I had always wanted. I mm -hmm. was acting in multiple plays since I could walk and performing in gymnastics since I could walk. So I'd always been a performer. Mm -hmm. But I just wasn't happy with the way that in my opinion, I didn't look, I didn't look healthy. I didn't look glowing. My, my home life wasn't stable mm. at the time. So when I came back as Serene, it had been after I had been camming for a little bit at home and really loving the feedback I was getting. I got some new boobies and I thought they looked great, and I wanted to show them off. Which you crowdsourced, is that right? Yes, my my first set of titties, I, I had to get them fixed along the way, but my first set of titties, I did actually use um, myfreebreastimplants.com. That's a site? That's a site. I don't know if it's still a site, but back when I did it, it funded my, my breasts. So they collect all the money, kind of like, I guess, go... Uh, GoFundMe or Kickstarter does, mm -hmm. where you can't access the money until you reach your goal. Right. And they don't pay you. They pay it directly to the doctor. Oh. So you have to have your your consultation and you have to have the amount and then they pay the doctor directly. Are there only certain doctors that work under this? Yes. But my okay. doctor that I chose wasn't a part of this. Mm-hmm. And they only did it for me. Mm -hmm. That was the one and only time that they had ever done this site. They hadn't even heard of the site, but mm -hmm. I connected them and it worked out great. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It so was pretty cool. What do people who contribute to the fund get? So messages, <clears throat> I got paid per message. And this is before OnlyFans or if mm -hmm. OnlyFans existed, I didn't know about it yet. So they pay per message. And you could sell picture sets, videos. You could do live shows on there. And more or less, just mostly messages on my part. And then... Raise the money for it. And then, okay, so people are paying for these pay-per-view messages and mm -hmm. et cetera. And then would they get... Because, you know, like with, with Kickstarter, at least, you get perks. Like when a project is done, you get whatever is made or yes. you get special behind the scenes like did they get like the first reveal of your new yes boobs? so they okay. get the the very first before and after shots mm -hmm. so then you also have um I forget how many they make you do in terms of how many pictures but you have to do a certain amount of after pictures mm -hmm. once they're healed right and it's exclusive to that site and right. you do what's called a I think it was called the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. No, the Hall of Hooterville. Hooterville mm -hmm. Something like that. And you get placed up there on their little Hall of Hooterville <laughs> with all the other girls that got funded. And most girls don't get funded. So I felt very, very, yeah. very lucky. Why do you think that you got funded and other people didn't? I have personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. And at that time, that was pretty much the only triple X stuff I was doing. Right. So it was very exclusive. Mm -hmm. And it helped that I had breastfeeding pictures that people could see what I would look like with big tits again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had the titty drop picture mm -hmm. or videos of when they were 
all natural and big. Mm -hmm. And I think that people really understood why I was self-conscious about my flat tires. Yeah. And you put your body through a lot when you have a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was four years of breastfeeding because I had two two kids back to back. Wow. And I'm happy not to be breastfeeding now, but I'm really glad that I did. Yeah. It made them very healthy. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.